Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sam's Corner. And today we're going to talk about, it's just a job. I know that it's more complicated than that. And in the previous video, I talked about it and I kind of got off topic a little bit and I didn't want to, but I was tying everything together. It is just a job. And I know because it's hard to say that we will tell people it's just a job or, you know, people say I'm tired of that job, that job, you know, all the expertise we use to describe the place, you know, that we exchange time for money. And it is, it is just a job. But the reason it weighs so heavily on us is because it provides us money to take care of our family. And I did get off on a tangent about those people who come from other countries who send money home. That's the reason why we go through things on our job with people. That's the reason why we have extra stress. The reason why you see some people working hard and you don't know why. The reason why you may see some people, the first one there, the last one to leave, and they're not management why sometimes people will lie to keep their job. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying I understand sometimes the thought process that go into what people do. It is just a job, but for some people, it is the only means that they have to take care of their loved ones. <sighs> My advice to you is always understand the mentalities of those that you work with. You don't have to get into people's business. People talk and tell you their modus operandi and why they do whatever they do. Always understand that, yes, it is a job, but if person feels like in order to keep their job, they'll lie on you, they will. They'll do whatever it takes to keep the money flowing because they have other people who are relying on them and sometimes they just don't want to lose the lifestyle that they've become accustomed to. Either way, I want you to understand this. It is just a job. It is. It's just a job. You clock in, you clock out, you do what you're supposed to do. You're going to find people you get along with. You're going to meet people that you've never wanted to engage with. You're going to have people who manage you and you're going to ask yourself, how did you get this job? You can't add. How do you get this job? And your writing is on a kindergartner's level. How do you have this job? And you don't even know how to speak to people. Those are the questions we ask ourselves and those are the frustrations that come. But I want you to understand that it is a job. It is not your life. Yes, it provides you the financial ability to provide for yourself and those you love. And I get that. And I totally understand it. But a job is a job. The points I want to make is number one, don't make it your life. Your job should never be your life. I understand and I've done it too. We've worked longer hours. There are times I've worked on the weekends. We've all been there and done it. Fine. But if your job, if you consistently have to, and you never get any time off, you're destroying your health, not just your physical, but also your mental. We all need time to recharge like a battery. It's important to understand that a job is not your life. And when you ask someone who they are and they tell you what they do, just know that's the mentality that they have that their job is their life. And that is why when some people lose their jobs, they absolutely go berserk because they have no core concept of who they are as a person. So I don't want you to be that person. Always know that your job is your job, but it is not your life. It affects your livelihood, but it's not your life. Just also know that while you have your life, your coworkers have theirs that they want to as well. And some people are the office snitch. That's just who they are. You have to accept people for who they are and you're gonna to have to navigate your office environment with care and with finesse. The older you get, the more you understand what's important and certain battles are not worth fighting. 
And then other times you let people know you got the right one with me. If you want it, I'm right here. Now I know that sounds aggressive. Really don't care. Because you know what? Sometimes you have to draw the line in the sand with people. And you can do so in a professional way. You don't have to cuss them out in emails. You don't have to be ignorant or nasty, but you can let people know this type of behavior from you, I'm not accepting it. I respect you, but I'm not afraid of you. And the reason I wanted to make this video that it's just a job is because I want you to understand that you need to figure out who you are as a person outside of your career. Your career represents the work that you do or like to do or whatever else, but it's not who you are as a person. Never let a job be all of who you are, because when you do, you failed as a person. You failed yourself. You have literally taken the test of self, the one test that you're supposed to get 100% on, and you get an F, because you don't know who you are and you allow this job or this title to speak to who you are. That's not good. Always, always, always be yourself and know who you are as a person. There's nothing wrong with taking pride in the work that you do. There's nothing wrong with being proud of the work and the things that you've accomplished. But remember, those things are not you. A job Yes, it's important because it provo provides finance and benefits and all of those things. But it's not who you are as a person. Know who you are. And if you don't, begin to take that journey of self-discovery. You'll be a happier person. And it may help you to find the career path you needed to take all along. So this video is just to encourage you to find yourself. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye.